light bulb. Hey guys, this is Ranshin, bring you another Stark of Commentary. This is going to be the losers match of the Lost Saga MSL Round of 32 Group E. We're going to have Up Magic against Much. Up Magic played against Yarnak where he lost, and Much played against Hero where he lost as well. The winners match has been played. If you haven't seen that, go watch it now because I'm going to spoil it. Yarnak beat Hero in that match, so Yarnak has moved out and Hero is in the final match. And now these two guys are going to fight to see which one of them faces by Hero in the final match to try to get through. Matchup wise, this is much as best matchup, PBT. He's almost si close to 60. I think he's 57 or something like that in this matchup. This is actually Up Magic's worst. PBT is just about 43% there, so this is advantages towards much. 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Sinking! So, Byzantium 2, we're gonna have Up Magic at the 5 o'clock in blue, we're gonna have Much at the 7 o'clock in brown. Much gets brown again, and wasn't very lucky for him in the last match, so we're gonna see what happens here. Looking forward to the strategy. This map is pretty even between these two races, at least so far. Terran have. Well, they're pretty even. I uh, don't. The Terrans do have one more win according to Team Liquid, which are awesome, by the way. Go to Team Liquid on that. Their site rocks. <clears throat> and thank you guys for the torrents and all the stats. Yeah, but according to them, uh, Terrans have one more win, five against six. But I don't know. Th that's after this match, so I'm not. I don't know whether that counts for this match. Maybe before this match, it was four and six. Maybe it was five and five. I mean, four and five or five or five. So you never know. Four six. What are that? I'm combinating a Starcraft, not doing mathematical problems. So, uh, no cheese for either player, at least not so far. Supply Depot going down. No eight racks in a cheesy position. Just pile on from much, no cheese so far. So yeah, this map is very interesting in that you have your <coughs> main at the low ground, then you have uh, your natural at the high ground, and then the middle is again low ground. So that gives some long distance shelling opportunities for tanks. And yeah, for protons, however, it means that their goons also get extra range, and flanking can be used against the tanks. So Terran has to be very careful if they're going to use their tanks here. They have to mine, put mines down very well. But yeah, uh, Magic putting down his barracks, I think he's going to try to wall off. I think I saw this in the last game as well. Op Magic actually put his first supply depot in a safe position and walled off with his second supply depot. Cybernetus core right after the gateway from much, so we're not going to see any two gate rushes. And I don't, another player has scouted so far, so very, very late scouts. Not Midas level, but Midas is known for like scouting after he gets his factory. Midas usually scouts after he gets his first factory out. So gas is now up for much. Puts down his second gateway after his cybernetics core and uses then that pylon, that probe, I'm sorry, to scout. I'm not, I don't know whether he's going to scout clockwise or counterclockwise. I think apparently he's going to scout counterclockwise. That means he's going to scout Amagic next. And meanwhile, Up Magic playing very, very, very risky. Going for a command center right after his barracks, having not scouted at all, maybe just thinks, hey, there has been no probe inside of my base yet. So, oh, no, never mind, much is gonna scout uh, counterclockwise. I thought he was gonna scout clockwise, I'm sorry, he's gonna be able to spot this command center, and that could mean that he's gonna go for quick aggressive action at second gateways on the way, so he, he starts pumping troops right away. He's Progressive. So, okay, I'm magic gonna put down a bunker. He's gonna trust that bunker to pr uh, protect that new expansion of his. He's gonna put several marines in there. This very risky play from up magic. Gonna see whether much counters by expanding himself or he's gonna go for quick aggression. Both are viable options. That probe is gonna stay in there for a while. Gonna scout everything that there is to be scouted. That barracks now being floated away. So I think there are what a marine or two inside of that bunker. Probe still alive, almost dying. The factory just coming up now for up magic. Up magic, uh, trying to take a quick economic advantage. And the probe still alive. In a dance round, I'm gonna see whether he goes inside a natural after this. Dragoo first dragoons now out for up magic. Uh, for much, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think he made any 
zealots, more pylons down the way, and those two dragoons are in fact moving out. If they have speed, uh, range upgrade, they should be able to take care of that bunker pretty quickly. So up magic gonna, is going to need something to defend this. He's not got nothing by the bunker, although he does have that barracks alongside. Should be able to pump out more greens if necessary, which it is going to be necessary with those now goons. Okay, those goons are waiting for range, and then they're going to start showing that bunker. The bunker, meanwhile, being filled by marines. Yeah, much there, testing the range a little bit. And meanwhile, moving out with more Dragoons, being fairly aggressive, he's not expanding. Also has a Dragoon running in a different location. Now, finally, a range upgrade now is ready for those Goons, so they are going to move out. And meanwhile, he has one Goon move to the side and attack the SCV. SCV is going to try to surround the Dragoon. Gonna, <laughs> much has to be very careful. Micro that Dragoon pretty well. It's also had him, almost had him under fire to those bunkers. The Dragoon, oh man, okay. The Dragoon is just now going to be moved back into the position, the bunker being repaired uh, as much as he can. And meanwhile, he has a factory going, he has a machine shop upgrades. I think that's could be tanks with range upgrade. And meanwhile, a temple archives coming up for much. So he's I think he's gonna go for Dark Temple Art. So early aggression there, he's not gonna expand, he's gonna move around. The four dragoons they're now shooting at that bunker of magic force to use a lot of SCVs to repair that. Wow, I think wow, was it five, six, seven SCVs all repairing that bunker? That's insane. Uh, engineering bay on the way is already there for up magic so he's also being uh, he's also ma making turrets to spot those dark temple are going to be coming his way so the dragoon's still showing like crazy SCV is repairing like crazy first tank is out he doesn't have the range up pretty as turret is out and get for that dark temple which is going to be coming in so as soon as that uh, siege mode is ready for up magic I think he should be able to push much out but m much oh no doing a pretty good job here so yeah re uh, siege mode is now ready so those dragoons are going to move out of the range of that bunker but much still has pressure he's still uh, is surrounding him and meanwhile expanding himself so early aggressive action into an expansion the up magic Noel wasn't really allowed to take full advantage of his expansion didn't have a lot of money there had way too many SCVs that were forced to repair a stargate on the way for up magic this is interesting all right I'm wondering whether this is going to be an early arbiter for him that could be a very interesting strategy there I, d I don't see any reason to go for Corsairs here There's no air out for up magic so I'm assume that is for arbiters or unless he's gonna plop down two of those and gonna go for a quick carriers I have seen much go for one base carriers and he played a pretty good game with that so I would not be surprised much is not the most you know you wouldn't call him the most creative surprising player but he has surprised you in the past now much moving in with his dragoons right into the fire of the tanks and the bunker meanwhile moving in with the dark templar trying to distract as much as he can but no he's gonna be forced to move back with those dust templar just trying to be aggressive there see if he can catch up magic napping but up magic with good reactions so not cost effective at all for much their loss three or four of his Dragoons lost one of his Dark Templars, so that's not very good. Academy now on the way for Upman, he's going to get scans going to defend against our Dark Templar. Second expansion also up now for much, and much is indeed going for Arbiters. Those Arbiters very quick. Arbiter Tribunal almost on the way, and meanwhile also adding two gateways, so he's going to pump ground force and go for an Arbiter. I really look forward to seeing what this will do. Meanwhile, Up Magic going for two more factories. He's going to have four factories, two of which with Machine Shop, two of which going to go with um, tanks. And he's going to be forced, as soon as the Arbiter's away, he's going to be forced to add an armory if he doesn't have one already. He's going to be forced to get some Goliaths to counter those Arbiters, which can be on the ground. There are turrets also all over the place, so we're going to see how that, that goes. And as soon as those Comsat stations are up, they're also going to help him against that Arbiter. Although, uh, if he has if he has stasis this early, that could be very effective. Stasising all those tanks, which are not that many yet. There are two tanks, I believe, at the natural. Three tanks inside of his main. Tanks now unseaging, possibly repositioning themselves. The barracks has now been floated away. And there's a bunker and a supply depot now blocking his natural. <laughs> ECV, they're trying to go for an expansion, but being followed by a Dark Templar. Up Magic probably sees the blur of that Dark Temple trying to run that SCV away. That expansion is going to be denied. Just two bases so far. Vultures on the way. They have speed upgrade. I don't know if they have mines as of yet, but I think they will have them pretty soon. Those mines 
will also be a big help to prevent those Dark Templar. Ooh, one Dark Templar that was standing there, I think. Get taken out. It was either a Zealot. I think it was actually a Dark Templar. But at least, at the way, at least, much knows that those tanks are mo moving towards his base, and mines are ready. They're being planted to prevent a lot of movement from those Dragoons. Those tanks and vultures are going to get caught by Dark Templar. Got a Templar. Ooh, moving right and close. Comps is going right off. Oh, the tank almost got taken out by the Dark Templar. Mines being planted everywhere to prevent those Dark Templar from being too effective. Marines also coming in from the side, and Dark Templar following them in. Tanks now moving into position, sieging off.